<laughs> when we found out that Andrea was getting married, we were a bit worried. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? For Paul. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't with Andrea. We all know the hardships comes with it. Every day is a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid to walk upstairs without, without being chased. <laughs> so we decided to put together a survival kit to help Paul through the dark days. <laughs> we don't want him to have a nervous breakdown. We've all been there. Ow. <laughs> She's been holding in her inner terror until today, but now it's a done deal. We want Paul to be prepared. We hope this is enough. <laughs> she takes her clothes out of the machine and puts them in a nice pile behind the couch with the rest of all of her clothes. <laughs> so here's a hanger, Paul. I'm going to keep the props here because we're a bit far, but use it wisely. It's long show. Okay, not only will you need this bottle of bleach, get rid of all the fake tan stains. Oh. <laughs> you probably need your hands as well. You probably need your fake tan in back, so keep it near if I were you. <laughs> Plasters, because she's got a habit of getting pierced, sometimes even doing it herself and trying to hide it from our parents. Uh, watch out, Paul, you're next. <laughs> As some of you know, married life can be a bit hard and conversation can run dry. Always keep up to date with the latest soap gossip as she'll be able to answer all your questions. <laughs> and anyone who tries to call her after 7pm on a weekday is lucky to get through. <laughs> and if all else fails, here is a camera. You'll keep her entertained for hours, you can take loads of selfies. <laughs> I'm sure she's already got out the Lulu today. You might think this lock is for Paul's many children. <laughs> But Andrew will escape from a window under extreme pressure. <laughs> Did you ever pay you back mum and dad for when you jumped out the window and smashed the roof of their car? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Second time, it was funny when we read. It was kind of making our childhood that our sister was crazy. It was only Right, here's a secret chocolate stash because Andrea's gone on healthy, she's probably banned chocolate from the house now that she's a herb of honey. Oh, yeah, we've got, a, got you a sick bag. Um, as I learned in my teens, Andrea could not handle her alcohol. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, here's a sick bag. I'm glad it's you that'll be waking up at 3am and not me, age 13, crying myself to sleep. Right, remember when we went to Oakwood? Yeah. And you had that nose yeah. problem, yeah? Yeah. We came off the ride and the girl behind us said, a wet tissue blew on my face. <laughs> and after that he turned to me and said, I lost my tissue. <laughs> she had a nose problem, her nose couldn't stop running for like a year. It so here's some tissues to, you know, in case that happens again. Okay. <laughs> but, but on the bright side, Andrea's pleasant to live with. <laughs> cool? Oh. <laughs> no, but despite all of that stuff, Love you loads. Aww. I really love you. And we're proud of you. Aww. Aww. I also want to say that although Paul's only got this bit sentimental, guys. <laughs> um, 
Um, well, they've all slowly been officially in our family for a day. I feel like you've been in it for ages because. We can always like ask you to help us with stuff, and you're always like looking out front.